Hey guys, welcome back. This is Project Life uh, week 46. Um, and being in the middle of December daily at the moment, uh, I decided just to make things easy on myself. I'm going to treat this week super simply. Uh, and because I have this huge peony flower down the bottom, uh, that was my one single peony that flowered this year. Tear. Uh, I decided to go all out with the florals this week. So this is uh, Project Life, the floral edition. I have been through my stash uh, and pulled out a bunch of things, all flowery themed starting with this hey hello paper pad so I've pulled out a couple of different florals in there I knew there were a bunch of florals in there that I loved but I've pulled out these two uh, they're predominantly yellow and predominantly pink just to kind of go along with the colors that I've got in my photos you can see there's a lot of pink this week there's a, a little pinch of yellow up the top there too so I kind of want to emphasize that uh, I'm only adding two three by four uh, I'm going to call them cards in the middle there. I'm going to do something on some white cardstock for my title card. And then I grabbed out a bunch of other colored cardstocks that I knew would work with this kind of color scheme. Uh, and I'm going to do something a little bit textural down the bottom here. So I wasn't really sure which color I wanted to go with. So I'm going to trim down a white card and trim down a yellow one and see, uh, and see what I think works best. I do love this yellow and it really works nicely with that hey hello floral uh, but it is also pretty dark and pretty bold uh, considering how kind of light and airy the rest of the spread is but when I put it in I actually really like it the the two photos it's my before and after of my haircuts um, they kind of cover up the majority of that sort of boldness and um, tone it back a little bit um, and so I think the yellow really works so uh, you know trimmed out the white card for no reason um, I will use that in another point in time now another thing I've done to make my life easier this week is I just typed out my journaling. I typed them out on some 3x4 cards knowing that I was going to trim those down and I'm just going to add them to my 3x4 florals there. So um, it's a lot more journaling than I ever usually really add <laughs> but uh, it only tells two stories of the other 3x4 photos. There was a, a little bit of a lack of photos this week but I think it, it all comes together really nicely and I surprised myself by being able to tell those sort of longer stories. Now I've, I've quickly whipped onto my title card. Like I said this week was fast. Um, the three by uh, sorry the four by six yellow card you can see there I just added um, some texture to that with a floral embossing folder that I have I love it and I hardly use it um, and so this was an excellent opportunity to carry on the theme uh, and to use something that I haven't haven't pulled out of my stash very often so it just adds a little bit of texture um, it's really hard to see it here on camera but in real life it's just lovely and now I'm moving on to my title card so. Uh, I had this pack of floral die cuts from Citrus Twist sitting on my desk waiting to be used. Perfect opportunity here. Uh, I'm going to pull out a few of them. I don't end up using the kind of blues and purples. I thought that they would work um, because of the sunrise photo that I've got. It's got quite a sort of purpley blue to it. So I thought they would work, but I end up just sticking with those warmer colors. Some of the other things in here um, that I hadn't really intended on using but they actually worked out really nicely were a few of these little phrase die cuts so I'm going to add those to some of my photos after I've finished my title card. So I've chosen these three floral die cuts. I'm going to add them on the bottom left in the top right corner. And I also dug through my stash because I knew I had this stamp set again from Citrus Twist uh, with these uh, outlined floral um, stamps which I really really loved I remember loving at the time so I did dig back through my stash I'm pretty sure they were like from I want to say the start of 2020 so they're January February stamps I think uh, I don't believe they're available any longer um, if they are I will leave some links for you in the description box um, but I'm just gonna layer the the full color floral die cuts with these outlines which I'm stamping in black um, and I love the combination it just gives it a little bit of something sort of graphic but then I get the color in there without having to kind of stamp in color as well. 
So I've added a couple of the actual flower stamps and I'm going to add a few of these little leaves too just to create a couple of clusters um, around those two corners. It gives me a little bit of um, a little bit of movement in there and a gap in the middle where I can add my title in. So I've added all of my stamps. Some of those do like run off the edge of the card which gives nice sort of flow as well. And then I'm just going to layer my colored die cuts over top and then I can trim off any excess that sort of overhangs the card. Now before I carry on I'm just going to place that onto my actual page just to check that I don't need to add anything else um, but I kind of feel like it worked really nicely so uh, while I had that stamp set out I decided to do a little bit of stamping on a couple of the photos um, I didn't really want to stamp or like write before and after on here so all I'm gonna do is stamp fresh start uh, which I think works perfectly with a haircut kind of photo I just stamped that in uh, brilliance moonlight white ink uh, and it fit perfectly <laughs> accidentally but perfectly on that photo so here we go I'm placing a few of those little die cuts um, and I have one for just about every photo I'm going to change my mind about this floral one down here just because where I want to stamp the sentiment uh, sorry where I want to place the sentiment uh, the just die cut doesn't really stand out and so I decided that what I would do is stamp something there with some black ink and that will help it stand out a little bit more. So I'm just going to carry on uh, for now and get things stuck down, committed. I'm committing to my two photos and I'm going to commit to this journaling as well. I'm going to adhere one down and then I'm going to line up the other floral and um, so I can make sure that those two journaling spots which are exactly the same height um, just accidentally the journaling managed to be the same uh, number of sentences so I trimmed them so they were the same height so I want to make sure that I'm placing them at the exact same place as well and then I'm going to uh, adhere down these couple of little die cuts there's one left up the top for my sunrise photo. Uh, I'm going to hide that over in the corner a little bit so it doesn't kind of take too much emphasis away from the photo. Um, and it just kind of worked out perfectly that it was a darker color and uh, fit in with that silhouette nicely. Then, like I said, I'm going to end up putting my stamp sentiment on here instead uh, and uh, this time I'm just using tuxedo black ink um, I find no problem stamping on photos I've said it a thousand times because I print at home on Canon photo glossy 2 paper it's designed to absorb ink and so when you stamp on it it just stamps perfectly now also out of my stash I dug out a couple of different alphas this was the only alpha I had that had any sort of floral pattern on it and it just happened that the week numbers of 46 were both kind of pinky florals they're not exactly the same uh, but close enough that they work nicely together and then I also pulled out this uh, Pink Fresh Studio Alpha. I've had it for a very long time. I did check before I pulled that out that I could spell the word week in one color. I didn't want to have multicolors. Uh, and again, it just so happens that I can use that kind of peachy pink color, which works nicely with the color scheme. I'm not adding a label for my date stamping this week. I'm just going to stamp straight onto my card, uh, at which point I realize I've stamped the wrong date. <laughs> uh, and so it, luckily, very luckily, it was an easy fix. But um, yeah, I needed to pay a little bit more attention there. Um, I was thinking of the number 15. I was supposed to be stamping nine, um, so I stamped five. But you can see with the gel pen, I just turned it into a nine and that finished off my spread. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you want to keep watching, there are a couple more videos on screen. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Bye guys.